Okay, so so far we have a, uh, a way to sweep diodes. So we have this configuration. We can measure the voltage across the uh, device. And then we can measure the voltage across the resistor that gives us the current. So we have a, a voltage and current uh, way of measuring things. So the next step would be, in order to measure transistors, we want a family of curves. And we want to measure, again, we want to measure the voltage across the part and the current through the part. But we also need to create a base gate step generator, okay? So we need to be able to inject some current into the base, and that will give us one curve, and then we need to step it, and that'll give us a second curve, and we'd get a, a generation a family of curves. And so we need to, we need to generate a, a step. Uh, so in this particular... Uh, schematic. Uh, you can see the waveforms down here. Uh, you can see these little stair steps here that uh, somebody created. And the way that it's created in this uh, in this schematic is this counter. There's a 3-bit counter and then there's a uh, an, an R2R ladder and I'll show you that and that creates a digital to analog conversion and so they can get a zero through seven steps, so eight, eight steps total. And so I thought, yeah, that, that's, that's a nice cheap way to do it, real easy way to do it. Um, and then it does a bunch of other things here for timing and stuff, and I thought, no, I want to make it more flexible than that. So I thought, well, uh, Arduinos are really cheap and I know how to use those. So let me, uh, let me uh, see if I can't uh, generate that with an Arduino. So. Uh, here's a picture of the circuit that I'm going to uh, build. It has a nano uh, Arduino hooked up to an R2R ladder, and that will generate my steps. So let me show you a, a zoomed-in picture of the, of the R2R ladder. Um, well, before, we, before I show you that, let me show you what an R2R ladder is. Um, and this is... Uh, this is what we're talking about. We're going to have uh, three inputs, D0, D1, and D2, and they're going to go into this. So these are, these are resistors, and in this particular case that I built, R is 10K, so 2R is 20K, so there's 20K, 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 10K, 10K. And the way that you uh, use this is you put a bit pattern on, on these three bits, so these will either be 0 volts or 5 volts. And zero volt, zero volt, zero volt will give us zero volts. And then if we have five volts, zero volts, zero volts, that's the first bit. So um, then you have five volts here. It gets divided in half by this resistor. But then there's this resistor here. It gets divided down again because this is zero. And then it gets divided down again because this is zero. And so you end up getting the stair step. Of, uh, of values, and they go between about zero volts and four volts uh, in this in this configuration. So, okay. So let me show you the little circuit that I built. Um, I used a little PC board that I had built, and I kind of cheated. I put parts between pads that it isn't really a surface mount pad, but I can jam everything in there. And you can see that I've got all of the 20Ks and 10Ks all in all in a, in a small space. So that is my uh, my poor man's DAC. Okay, let me show you the uh, output on the oscilloscope, and you can see we're generating nice steps, and so it should be it should be ready to go. So let's take the board and um, into the garage. Let me show you what how that ended up. Okay, so this is the board that we had before, and I've added the little Arduino board back here. Okay, so it's uh, it's outputting uh, its stair step on this wire. And that wire goes into a variable resistor. So voltage through a resistor is current. So I can adjust the current uh, by, by uh, changing the uh, resistance. And then here's my device under test. Uh, a 2N222 uh, transistor, NPN. And this is what we get. So very nice. Um, we have uh, the XY display, and we're getting our, our, our family of curves here. And um, yeah, 
So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's actually two in here. It's hard to see. The, the zero and the next step are pretty small together. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are all the steps. And so I like it. It looks like a curve chaser. Um, so uh, there's a bit of noise in the system, but I think that's just all the flying leads that I have. Um, let, me, uh, let me show you a, uh, a, a screen capture. So the uh, Rigel scope has a button where you can say store and it puts it on a flash drive. So it, it does a screen capture of the, uh, of the part. So let me show you that. Get a good, uh, good view of all of these, all of these traces. I don't know if that's any better or not, but I thought I'd do it. All right, so what's the next step? Well, the next step is to take a look at how I want to make all of this better. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to have a bunch of variable things. I'm going to need to have the uh, step generator go into a op amp so I can change the the range of voltages and I can invert it so I can have an up going ramp or down going ramp for NPN or PNP so I need to have a I need to have a uh, amplifier here and then here's all of the range switches for the uh, currents all the base currents from uh, 10 microamps up to 2 milliamps so there's a bunch of steps there so that will have to be some kind of big switch on the front um, and then you can make this thing test FETs, and FETs don't want current inputs, they want voltage inputs. And so these last two, uh, last three ranges here are voltages, so half a volt point, well, that's kind of strange, oh, half a volt, 0.2 volts, and 0.1 volts. So anyway, that's what they chose. I don't know if half a volt is enough, it seems like it should be a little more farther than that. Anyway, voltages instead of currents. Uh, there's a couple switches. We, I already have one switch. This is NPN, PNP. There's also one that is, uh, see, I don't want that one, I don't think, but I do want this one up here. There's another NPN, PNP, which flips the, um, the inversion, so the ramp goes down instead of up. And there's another one that's either transistor or FET, which, uh, turns this into a, a voltage output instead of a, uh, a current output. Um, let's see here, I think, oh, the other thing that I need to do is generate the, um, uh, the sawtooth wave that this whole thing is being generated off of. So I have an idea for that. So I'll leave that to a future video of the idea that I have there. And, um, yeah, anyway, it's progressing.